today in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to how to use a notification NS notification center so just create a new single view application and I'm gonna call this NS notification tutorial tutorial and I'm gonna use a storyboard and we're gonna use automatic reference counting and just create your project so let's go to the storyboard and here we're gonna have um, two different view controllers so we're gonna have the first view controller is gonna have a label and a button so let's add a label and a button okay button would be to go to screen 2 okay I'm gonna center my label and in view 2 we're gonna have a switch and a button so a switch basically just toggles between on and off and a button is to um, to dismiss view this miss view just goes back to the view one so um, in this tutorial what I want to do is um, when the user clicks on go to screen 2 it will go to this screen and when a user toggles between on and off it will keep count of how many times the toggle has been going on so we don't really care about the on or off value it's just gonna keep track of how many times um, the user has been toggling it on and off and when we dismiss view when we click on dismiss view um, the label is gonna show how many times it's been toggling on and off and we can do this multiple times and the count will keep on counting up and we're gonna do this using um, NS notification so now um, let's add a, the second view controller class um, for this view controller so to do this we go file new file and we create an objective C class and I'm gonna call this one view controller 2 and view controller 2 is a subclass of UI view controller and we're not going to use zip file and we're not going to target it for iPad so just click next make sure the NS notification tutorial target is checked and then just click create and there that created our two um, header file and implementation file and in our storyboard we can now we can make the necessary connections so in our view controller one control click and drag the label onto the view controller header file I'm gonna call this display label type is UI label storage is weak click connect for a button control click drag connection type will be an action name I'm gonna call it go to screen to button type will be ID, event will be touch up inside, and argument will be sender. So that's our connections for the first view controller. And for the second view controller, we're going to have to change the class, uh, show the identity inspector, change the class on UI view controller to view controller to the class that we've just added and hide the utilities area and then our switch we're gonna control drag it on to our view controller 2 okay so let me cancel this for a second so if um, if your assistant editor doesn't show view controller 2 just go to um, this here and then say automatic then click on view controller 2 and then this will show up and you can make your necessary connections 
So now click on your switch, control drag it onto your view controller to header file. Uh, connection will be an action and the name I'm gonna call it my switch and type will be ID event will be value change and argument will be sender and for the button we'll control click and drag it on here too type will also be an action name I'm gonna call it dismiss button type will be ID event is touch up inside and argument is sender Okay, so that's that, and we're we're now going to um, implement our view controller. So this view controller is for the first view, and I'm gonna create an instance method called count in count, and then I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna create another method called. Um, I'm gonna create another method called um, sh show count, and in this method, I'm going to going to show the count. So we have a display label. Um, so self dot display label dot text equals count. Okay. So that's what we want our. Um, well, we can't just say it like that. Account is an. Um, well, we'll take care of this part later. Because the count is an int, so we have to do a, a string format to show it. But the important part is I'm going to show you the, the, the NS notification part of this tutorial. So here we're going to say NS notification center, default center, and we're going to say add observer. Add observer. Oh, choose this method. Sorry, I think that went too fast. We are going to choose this method. Add observer with the selector name and object. So choose this one. Add observer ID. Add observer self selector. I'm going to call it at selector, and the method will be named show count name is the name of the notification that we want to receive so we can call it whatever we want but we just have to make sure that we call it the same name on the next screen when we post notification so for this tutorial I'm gonna call it um, toggle an object will be nil okay and that you will have um added uh, add observer name toggle to the NS notification and we have to do this also in our dialog di method we have to remove notifications so here NS notification center default center remove observer um, choose the one with um, name and object so remove of server self name is the same name that we gave the add up server which is toggle and object is nil okay so we need this um, so that when the when the program terminates the the um, the notification is removed so we don't keep on listening to um to a notification all right and now we have to modify the go to screen to button in order for the in order to go to the second view so we can get to toggling our switch so again we do self present view controller and our view controller will be vc2 animated yes completion no and our vc2 is a view controller too so Again, we have to do an import of our view controller 2.h and we're gonna create an instance of view view controller 2. Well, a pointer to an instance. View controller 2 uh, pointer vc2 equals view controller 2 alec init and self present view controller vc2 animated yes completion nil. Alright, so that's gonna push
push our um, push to not push sorry it's gonna present our view controller too and here in our view controller 2.m we have two we have two different actions we have the switch and we have the dismiss button so when we click on dismiss we want to dismiss the the view and go back to our original view so we do this by saying self dismiss view controller animated yes completion nil and by this point not doing anything um, let's let's run it on our our simulator at this point the screen will be able to pass back and forth but right now the notification doesn't come into effect yet so I need to I need to post a notification here in the my switch method but for now let's make sure that the view is able to go back and forth between the two views go to screen 2 and oh forgot something so here in our main I'm I thought I was using zips but I'm using a storyboard so we should do this so in our in our second view controller our storyboard ID um, call it view controller 2 All right. and in our view controller dot M the view controller dot M instead of calling it like this or I'm gonna say view controller 2 VC2 equals self dot storyboard instantiate view controller with identifier and I'm gonna the identifier that we gave it was view controller 2 alright and then that's that okay so that now let's run it again on our iPhone simulator good thing we tested it alright go to screen 2 there's our screen 2 dismiss view goes back to screen 1 right now it will still toggle but it doesn't do anything to our label yet so now we're gonna do something so go to go back to our view controller 2 implementation file and in the in the my switch um, method let's say NS notification center NS notification center default center and then we're gonna say post notification Oops. I'll choose that post notification with the with name and object so post notification name is going to be the name that we gave it toggle t o g g l e d object will be nil and so when the switch gets um toggle it's gonna send a notification uh, with the name toggle and in our view controller it's gonna receive this notification because it's um it's listening to this notification and it's gonna call this method called show count and in show count um I haven't done anything yet so here I was gonna I was gonna show the count so again I'm gonna uncomment this and say self dot display label dot text equals ns string string with format and I'm gonna do percent %d for integer format and I'm gonna say count and whenever it comes in I'm gonna increment the count so there when the when the um, message gets toggle not message sorry when the switch gets toggle it's gonna call this method show count and it's gonna it's gonna increment the count every time and we're gonna show that on our first view controllers label so let's run it and show mm -hmm. you that it works so go to screen 2 toggle one time two times say dismiss view now the label is 2 go to screen 2 again toggle 3 4 5 dismiss view says 5 go to screen 2 6 7 you can do this as many times as you want so dismiss then it shows 7 so that's pretty much how you use a um, NS notification center so NS notification center default center you add an observer and in the dialog method you remove the observer and in our view controller too um, whenever you want the notification to be sent just say NS notification center default center post notification name
Alright, thank you guys and I'll see you next time.